the urban challenges of Metro Manila are far more complex than anybody could ever imagine. It's a city run by 17 different sub-cities with different political boundaries and fragmented plans and programs. What comes out in the eyes of the world is Metro Manila is already marred by traffic, pollution, um, um, urban blight, uh, rise of informal settlers, and because of urbanization, it attracts more people towards the center where it gets crowded and safety becomes an issue. Cleanliness of city and city streets, you begin to uh, worry about your tourists, your guests, considering that 70% of our tourists would land first in Metro Manila. We have issues on physical um, challenges right now in terms of first impression for Metro Manila. So there are many, many problems that we face right now. We actually embrace all those problems, but we just want to put them together into one common roadmap, understanding where Metro Manila would like to be by 2030. So those are our challenges right now. So uh, it's a whole gamut of many challenges put together, and what we want is to be able to craft a roadmap to be able to get into a vision that we'd like Metro Manila to be a city for all, where we are green, resilient, and livable and connected, where mass public transport is very accessible and well connected from one city to another. Right now it's still fragmented. So those are the dreams that we'd like. And it's not like, oh, it's, 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 we want the city to be not only for the rich, because that's what's happening right now. We want solutions that are very socially inclusive, where we actually touch on all sectors of our society to benefit from development programs. and. Um, and, and uh, we want also to harness talents and opportunities because we are heavily populated. We are 15, 14 million reaching 15 million daytime population over a 636 kilometer of space, square kilometer of space. So you can imagine how that looks like during the day. And we don't have as much skills right now, low skill level. So we'd also like to harness by actually embracing talents and opportunities for everybody. So it's a mix of economic opportunities as well as physical development that we want to put together into a plan. So that's why we'd like to sit down in a, in a, in a meeting like this to be able to get as much information from model, model countries like Singapore, all the experts coming in, all the city leaders coming in, where we can actually network and exchange information from everybody and learn from everybody, fast track our learnings, when we see Singapore perfecting its, its country in 50 years, it's possible that we'd be able to do it maybe 30 years with the help of neighboring helpful countries like Singapore. What I learned from, uh, from, from this forum is that um, you have been very, very, all presenters are very, very consistent with one thing or two things actually. First is um, to, have, to be a successful country or to be a successful city, you, might, you should have the right political will and the vision. You should have a visionary leader right from the beginning, not thinking short term, but thinking long term. And long term is not defined 20 years, but actually defined 50 years, caring for the next generation, caring for people in general caring for the improvement of quality of life. And how to do that requires an urban governance. That's number two. So you have your vision and you have the right urban governance to run the country looking at it with that kind of vision. So it sets the directions of all leaders, political as well as the private sector, as well as the citizens, with so much engagement across all sectors, seeing it clear that this is where the direction the city goes. So that's the kind of discipline that we'd like Metro Manila to be one day and it probably starts with small steps. And that's what I learned in CLC. It is not that we're gonna get everything from Singapore and hoping against hope that we're gonna be like that in the next year or so. It's not gonna happen. What they have taught me is that there are many things that are actually uh, different in context and therefore our challenge now is to analyze the context of Singapore, see commonalities in our countries or opportunities in the way we think and analyze strategic issues and the, uh, given the problems I've stated a while ago. So it's more of an integration and see how we can combine the political will and the vision and the right urban governance to support it and make things happen. Another learning is pragmatism. 
if you can't do much, you can just start by doing things and learning by doing is a good practical step to do. Um, Singapore is very brave in taking bold steps even if they commit mistakes along the way, but they take pride in all the victories that they've actually um, encountered and they're very, very selfless in sharing them all to us. So we appreciate that very much. Thank you.